Well, to get the latest from Angola, let's bring on our regional correspondent, Clément Bonoro, who's in Luanda for us. Uh, Clément, how is the vote going so far? Well, voting has been going very smoothly uh, so far. Uh, most uh, polling stations opened on time at 7 a.m. this morning, and we've seen long queues of uh, voters outside uh, polling stations, be it in the city centre where we were earlier this morning and also uh, in the suburbs. I'm standing uh, right now outside a polling station in the working class uh, district of uh, Samba. Uh, the National Electoral Commission has deployed uh, agents uh, uh, at each uh, polling station to help uh, guide uh, voters through the electoral uh, process. Everything once again has been going very calm even uh, even though we did speak to a few voters who were unable to vote because their names were either not on the list or were registered at another uh, polling station. We also uh, saw a few people sitting outside uh, the polling station after casting their ballots which they say is to monitor the election. In fact many voters we've spoken to so far say they have little trust in the electoral uh, process and many fear widespread fraud. Clément, this could be one of the tightest elections there in decades. The economy is really top concern for voters. Tell us a bit more about that. Yes, the MPLA, the MPLA, which has been in power since independence in 1975, is facing an unprecedented wave of discontent over the economy. Angolans have been hit very hard by the economic crisis, uh, which was then further aggravated uh, by the COVID-19 pandemic. And their situation has worsened uh, over the past uh, five uh, years. Unemployment has crept up uh, from 24% to over 30%. Inflation is also very high at 25%. And an increasing number of Angolans are struggling to put food on their table. Now, UNITA, the historic opposition party, is hoping to capitalize on voters' uh, frustrations. And it's been especially popular with uh, young voters, many of whom are voting for the first time uh, in, 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 in an election. Uh, voters who uh, uh, were born after the end of the civil war in 2002 and therefore have a very different relationship to political parties. They don't have the same uh, traditional affiliations as their parents or grandparents. What they want from politicians now is real change and better living conditions for all Angolans. Clement, thanks for that. Clement Bonero there reporting for us on that election that's underway now in Angola.